I'm not where I'm supposed to be. I'm going in circles, going in circles. I should get away from here. There's a better place for me, better place for me. Trying to play my symphony. But there's so much noise around, so much noise around, constantly fighting for space. I wanna be empty, be empty. Be empty. A spark of light to fire. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We're doing your um, intuitive special. Okay, why is it special? Because it's intuitive, <laughs> and we don't know, <laughs> okay, which zodiac. So the way it works, I let the tarot decide what zodiac we're reading for tonight. But tonight we're gonna be manifesting a reading with the lavender. Is this is lavender. Yep. Oh, it's very vanilla. Oh, it's very vanilla. Okay. <laughs> with very vanilla okay so we'll put this aside and then we'll let the tarot decide so always check because you never know if it's your zodiac that's gonna get picked so this is your intuitive special I'm gonna wait for the major arcana and the, if the major arcana falls into one zodiac then that's the zodiac that we're gonna read for tonight Make sense? Let's begin. Okay. So let's see which major arcana. I'm going to go for the major arcana. Let's see. Hmm. Knight of Pentacles, not a major arcana. Eight of Wands, Page of Wands, the World Card, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, or Scorpio. Okay. So now there is down to four. So we'll see if any other supplement card supports Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, or Scorpio. Then that's the zodiac for tonight. Okay, six of swords. Let's see. Mm. Virgo or Gemini doesn't support. Aries, no. Nope. Scorpio, it is. King of Cups. So Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, or Scorpio. So the Scorpio got this reading. Spicy. We just had a Taurus, and now it's a Scorpio. It's like the nodes. Three of Swords. Okay. Because remember, the nodes are moving from um, Rahu and Ketu, the North Node and South Node, right? K2 is going to go to Scorpio. And Rahu is going to go to Taurus. Which takes 18 years. And this is their exaltation. It only means that they function a little bit just like usual. Okay, That's what exaltation is. Nothing special much. Mm -hmm. They perform at, the, at their best, at their peak. Which is their normal. Okay, the rest of the time they're always challenged because it's not their home court advantage. Think of it that way. So, Scorpio, intuitive. Okay, let's warm up. As intuitive special, we're gonna talk, and at the same time, I'm gonna read you to feel. Let's begin. All right. 
Let's see. So, let's talk about all the doors that are opening up to you. Which door you want to pick? A new life, a new career, a new business, a new job, a new love. Knowing that you are Mars ruled, of course, love. I want a soulmate. This is what your heart is yearning right now. Six of Cups. Is it the Leo? Is it the person who you recently broke up with? Is this the person that makes you feel like Cloud Nine? Mm -hmm. Is it Six of Cups? Is it a childhood friend? A person that you have been talking for quite some time but can never really get to the next level? And now you feel like it's time. It never fails to have a reading, even though this is a random read, that a Scorpio will choose someone from their past. It just so happened that a Scorpio likes to have theirs for them. That's the thing. When I say for them, I will explain. That's the thing with Scorpio. Ascendant or Moon sign, of course, is that the Taurus is, you know, in in terms of astrology, it's called the mine, mine, mine. Because it's a second house. So everything that you can touch, this is mine, right? This is mine, this is mine, right? Mine, mine, mine. So it only goes for your relationship that there's always the part where you say, you're mine and I'm yours. And that's where Scorpio really enjoys that. I'm yours and you're mine. Yep. You feel the nostalgia. You feel like, oh my God, I'm in love. Yes, yes, yes. That's how a Scorpio feels with the Six of Cups. You're in love and they love you. Mm -hmm. There's a soul recognition. You look into their eyes. They know it's you. They look back and everything is a bliss. Two of Cups. Everything is a bliss. You don't get this lucky. Mm -hmm. Six of cups with a two of cups. Definitely a soulmate. Cannot argue that. Twin flame. Karmic. You know, karmic is different. You know, like meaning when I say karmic, like karmic connection. The yin yang. You know. Luigi and Mario. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> So this person, again, strikes you as a Leo, right? Strikes you as like, hmm, why are you always being attracted to a Leo and a Leo being attracted to you? Hmm. Having a 10th house as a Leo, you're all about regal. You're very regal at work. You do know that without an effort. You don't have to. You are. Mm-hmm. Because it's a 10th house. The sun right now is in Leo. So that's why the doors are opening in your career. Everything is just bright and shiny. You're being exposed to the world. And you're being exposed to your soulmate. Mm -hmm. You will. You will. You're probably going to meet someone. Or you're already with someone. Ace of Cups. Mm-hmm. You're already with someone. They love you and... L mm -mm 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 -mm. Is this even for real, Scorpio? Because the way I look at it, if you blink, this can all be gone. Mm -hmm. Ace of Cups with a Two of Cups and Six of Cups. Someone loves you. You love them back. There's going to be messages. There's a soul recognition. It's an honest love right now. The two of you shares these feelings through and through. Are you at your edge of your seat? Because we are about to go clarify each card. Are you ready, Scorpios? Because after this, your whole world will never be the same. What does it mean for the nodes, Scorpios? Oh, by the way, this is a Scorpio card. 
So you might be connected to Scorpio. What does it mean for people who didn't attend the webinar? Which you, the, you guys are the only one who got an exclusive webinar. Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Right? Rahu goes to Taurus, which means your seventh house becomes something that is significant right now. Mm -hmm. That's where the karma is. 90 days before the nodes, they already act like they're there. You already feel it. Mm -hmm. So it only means the relationship, the bonds, the career, the success is already highlighted. Six of Pentacles. Empress. Six of Pentacles and the Empress. A Taurus or a Libra. Mm -hmm. So you have been talking to someone. They're falling in love. Texting someone, they're falling in love. You think it's harmless right now? Well, not until they profess their feelings to you. Are you ready for that? Are you ready for something serious or you just want this whole lovey-dovey, they care about me, I care about them, flirty-flirty, let's just go with the flow, you know. Or are you ready for something more serious because once the empress comes in, I feel like this is them, they want everything of you. Mm -hmm. You probably have showered gifts to this person, they gave you gift, vice versa, because six of pentacles with the six of cups, it's reciprocated, you know. Mm. I like this. If you're dealing with a Taurus or a Libra, I like them. I really do. Now, if we're dealing with a Leo, why are you at the edge of your seat? Mm -hmm. They want you. They desire you. They feel like you're the only person that they have ever seen in this world that can make them their heart feels like bum 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 bum. Page of Swords. Just like any other Leo, they like to play a game with their food. Six of Swords with a Page of Swords loves to ignore you and watch you from afar. Just like a lion, they wait and wait and wait. But what they don't know, if they keep waiting, this boat will sink and you'll give up. Page of Swords with the Six of Swords. Time is running out for this Leo. If it's a younger air sign, such as a Gemini, they don't have the courage to reach out and talk to you right now. They feel that you have options, Scorpio. If it's a Gemini, they feel it. Let's talk about this, Ace of Cups. An Aries shows up. An Aries shows up in the room. Everybody becomes quiet. Dashing, gorgeous, right? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very passionate can go to the way, you know, can be with you at the same pacing as you would like. You know what I'm talking about. King of Wands in the Ace of Cups wants you to be theirs. But they like to play the whole dominant game. I'm a King of Wands and you're a water sign. You need to show me love and care. You need to do as I told. That's a king of wands. Queen of cups. You find it attractive when someone is very, very dominant. You find that hot. You find that, you know, sexy. You find that like, wow, that person. If it's a Cancerian, head over heels with you. There's not one part of this read that you're losing. Actually, you're winning. You're winning everybody's heart. Mm -hmm. 
You have all the hard cards. And you have Venus over here. Rules love. You're winning, Scorpio. You're winning. Now, of course, the cross watchers are here. Even though I told them not to cross watch. Especially that Leo or that Cancerian who hides. That Taurus who has just been texting you, flirting with you. That Libra who just probably sent you a pic. Mm -hmm, telling you that they miss you. Mm -hmm. Justice. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who will you pick? Now that you're playing, it's just like there are different parts of this read that will hit you. Which one? Is it the past, Six of Cups? Is it someone who's present, Two of Cups? Or is it someone that you want in the future that you have never met? Eeny, miny, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who's going to get cut? Because apparently, the Scorpios are right now in the market. And everybody is just falling in love with you. The nodes are moving. They're opening up your relationship house. Rahu is a very strong karma planet. It makes everything solid. Especially now that it is in Taurus. It's going to be in Taurus. But a shadow is already there. Who will it be? You have a lot of love interests over here. And I see that you're about to make a big decision. About partnership. Seventh house is Libra. You already have Venus over here. Who will you give your commitment or your heart so that you can be in a loving, caring relationship? Who will you pick? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay. So I will continue this reading. I feel like there's a lot of cross watcher who's going to go there. The Scorpio is just going to. You're welcome. You're welcome. Join me in the extended. It's going to be in the description box below, right there. So the extended is going to be there for all, for all your questions, uh, for wellness, crystal, cleansing needs. Um, you can check our, our website at eatreadlove.me and also check out your weekly um, um, horoscope at salbudar.com. There's also a live chat there, and it's, um, it's uh, Cynthia. So if Cynthia can help you with your gemstone questions only and wellness, she can help you. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful night. And Scorpios, this is your intuitive special. Good night. No more talking about it When we ignite We are stars In a darkened sky When you